Hey guys, welcome back. Round one is over in the NRL. Let's get into the week that was. The first game I tipped the Broncos, which was obviously a big mistake for me. The Storm were a great side. The Broncos um, didn't show a lot, but I think they'll, they'll come back strong in a, a few matches. Um, you got players like Corey Oates, who's on my super coach team, scoring good points. But you got players like um, uh, Jerome Pugh, a fullback for the Melbourne Storm. The Melbourne Storm definitely look like a threat, and um, they play really well in a 22 to 12 win for the Storm. The second game of the round was actually my game of the round for this week. It was the Newcastle Knights taking on the Cronulla Sharks. Now the Knights have lost their last five against the Sharks, I believe. Big score margins, 48 to 10, I think was the last one. And the Knights are a fresh new team, a fresh new start, ready hopefully to make the eight. And that's what they showed. In the first half, we were left scoreless with a nil all score, which was just crazy. It hasn't happened for a long time, um, but it was overall phenomenal game. I think the penalty try for the Sharks was the wrong call, in my opinion. I don't think the lead runner would have gotten to the ball, um, but you got players like Tim Glasby and Edric Lee at the end, brilliant. This is my game, the round, and the second half was a great match of footy. The question begs as to uh, how much are Sydney Roosters missing Blake Ferguson, who made um, a lot of metres last year. The Sydney Roosters had round one loss to the South Sydney Rabbitohs. I tipped the Roosters for this match, and I'm sure 90% of you did. Um, maybe 75%, something like that. Um, but the Rabbitohs definitely showed a, a lot of strength. They've done a good off-season by Wayne Bennett. Um, and that's what brought them over the line. The Roosters were all right, but overall, this was a game I was excited to watch, and overall, I felt like it was a scrappy game of football that didn't have too much entertainment with a 26 to 16 win for South Sydney. In the first game of Super Saturday, the Bulldogs. I tipped the Bulldogs, and I've said they're gonna finish ninth, but I fucking doubt it. What the hell? The Bulldogs really need to rethink their structure. They got smashed by the Warriors. 40 points to 6. Players at the Warriors, um, you don't need Sean Johnson to, to provide such a good team. And yeah, the Bulldogs just look flat. You've got new players like Napa. Um, they've got Christian Crichton as well, I believe, from the Rabbitohs. Um, but the Bulldogs look really flat, and I think they need to rethink their structure of training. Um, but as for the Warriors, excellent win. And um, sorry that I didn't tip you. Second game was the West Tigers taking on the Manly Sea Eagles. Now, I tipped the West Tigers by four, and this was the only freaking game of the round that I got right. I'm, I'm on one point out of eight for my uh, tipping comp, which is really annoying, but uh, the West Tigers showed a really strong side. Um, Benji Marshall was a bit quiet, but Robbie Farrow really, I believe he scored two tries in this match for a 22-6 win. With 14 minutes to go, um, I believe the score was like 14-0. I said to my auntie, and I was going to put money on the score to be West Tigers by 11-15, to 15, and I don't know why I didn't, because... But, ah, well, it was a good game of football, in my opinion. Um, at, at times, the rain definitely affected the players, um, but Manly, same as Bulldogs, kind of flat, but I think, especially with Trevojevic lost, I think they're going to struggle. The last game of Super Saturday was the Cowboys at home taking on the Dragons. Now, I tipped the Dragons by 12, and of course, the Cowboys won by 12. Jason Taumalolo, you're a weapon, mate. 302 contact metres, I believe. One of the first players to get 300 metres in a long time. Um, a good game of football. I wasn't able to watch all of this game. Um, I was driving around, fishing, things like that. Um, but I did enjoy what I did see of it. Nene McDonald scoring against his old club. The Dragons look flat, and I'm sorry to say, I think Corey Norman needs to um, improve. Uh, he wasn't too bad at Parramatta, but he just needs to improve. Um, in certain parts, I felt like he failed. Widdop had a strong game, and James Graham is a player who's also in my super coach. I felt like he um, stepped up as a leader as well, but the Dragons looked um, very tired in the second half of this game. That's all I can say. You know, we got it. We back, baby. 20 to 12 over the Panthers at, in their home territory, the Battle of the West, Parramatta Eel with a new team. Let me just say, um, I won't talk too much about my team. I won't talk for minutes, but I want to say, in the halves, Dylan Brown with Mitchell Moses, a great pairing, a great combination. 
our hookers really stepped up. Reed Marnie, you were an amazing player. That try in that video, if you haven't seen it, check out my little vlog. Um, Paramount is back, uh, hopefully. I mean, I could be saying that now and we could go straight back to losing against the Bulldogs, but I really hope not. What a great side. Um, Penrith, you played well, um, but not as great as you could have. Cleary had a pretty quiet match overall, but you've got players like Regan Campbell-Gillard who stepped up, and you've got players like uh, Wonga Blake scored a try, I believe. Or was it, no, it was Luai, sorry, but Wonga Blake, um, good player as well. When I found out the reaction to this score was, what the fuck? 21-0. Why? Why was there a field goal? It's like the Raiders were trying to flex on the Titans. It was a 21-0 win for the Raiders. Why not 20-0? I, I was so baffled. Um, Titans didn't score at all. Um, I didn't watch this game. I was coming back from Penrith. My phone was pretty much dead. Um, and as you guys saw in that video, not my day. So I was trying to avoid talking with mates, things like that. Um, was uh, good, but... I haven't watched the game to say I might might watch the highlights. I've seen. I think I've yeah. I watched the highlights, um, but overall, not too much here, and I it wasn't too much of an exciting game. But it's just weird. But the Raiders showed a lot of potential, and I believe they're coming third on the ladder now. Let's get into my tips for this week. Change the margins. I'm going to stick with these teams. I think highly. Okay. My tips are the Rabbitohs by 14 points against the St. George Illawarra Dragons. I think St. George will try, but I think the Rabbitohs will show a strong side like we saw at the Charity Shield game. Now, the Storm always thrashed the Raiders. The Raiders were very strong. I know it was against the Titans. I've picked the Storm by 12 points. I think it'll be quite a close game. The Cowboys and the Broncos. I mean, the Broncos at home and three of their last five have led to Golden Point. And I've gone Cowboys by two points. That was a hard game to pick for me. Sharks up against the Titans, both coming off a loss, both wanting to win. I've gone Sharks by eight. Moving on to McDonald Jones Stadium, the Knights against the Panthers. Knights coming off a nice win against the Sharks and the Panthers coming off a loss. I've gone Knights by three. This is a very weird one. I have gone Knights by three. My gut's telling me the score is going to be like 12, 15, 15, 18, something like that. The Roosters play the Sea Eagles down at Brookvale, and they're both coming off a loss. I don't think the Roosters will lose two in a row. I've gone Roosters by 14 points. And Bulldogs will play Parramatta Eels, and Bulldogs coming off a loss, they're going to rethink their structure. I think Eels will get them by six. I think this match will be like an 18-12 win for Parramatta. And I really hope so. I'll be vlogging at it quite. Last one is the West Tigers up against the Warriors. Quite a hard match to pick after the Warriors' performance and the Tigers both coming off wins. I've tipped the West Tigers by 10 points. So after one out of eight this week, let's see if we can do it next week, guys. I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.